mouth. Uh -huh. So take the mats as you're supposed to. Okay. With the girls, try to avoid spicy stuff. All right, guys, before we get this vlog started, you have to hear from my sponsors, Dossier. So you guys know I have been working on my luxurious perfume collection. So let me tell you about my collection from Dossier. I love their fragrances. And let me tell you why. So here's the box right here. I love to show you guys the box on certain products because to a lot of people, they really matter. So let's just start out with the facts. These are not replicas or dupes the scents are just inspired by our favorite luxurious brands okay they are 29 dollars, which is a fraction of the price if you was to buy the scent that they are inspired by everything is vegan and cruelty free made in france risk-free order and i'll explain that in a minute with clean ingredients so like i said i got two scents this first one is oriental one this is what I really love. I am horrible at describing scents and what they smell like and the notes and etc. in them. And so they put a card in here telling you everything, the top, middle, and the base notes. So let's just check out our first scent. When you open your box, you have the 50 milliliter and you have a sample over here. So when they say risk-free order, what you do is you try your sample. Just try the sample first. And if you don't like the scent, you send the 50 milliliter back and get all of your money back. I love that because we all know that scents pull different on different people. You might get it and not like it. And that way you're not wasting your money. You're not wasting their scents. You can just send it back and you keep the sample. Also, if you post a picture on your feed and you tag at Dossier Perfumes, you can win a chance to get your order fully refund so it's a lot of cute incentives and plus they have some awesome black friday deals going on right now make sure you check them out i will detail the black friday deals in the description box but always go to their instagram page to find out more so let's hop into the scents i have so just like the first video i have both of these scents that these are inspired by the first one is oriental one inspired by black opium and the second one is Woody One, inspired by Mon Paris. So let's see how they smell. All right, so we had to come and sample this, okay? So this one right here is Oriental One. So what should I do? Spray the real one or the inspired first? Like I said, it was inspired by Black Opium. Who, which your girl don't have any, so I'm glad I got this. So, you know, I'm not going to spray this because I already know what it smells like. I'm just going to use it for a comparison. How about that? Will that work for you guys? So, there you go. Ooh, a lot came out this sample, y'all. That's so warm. I smell vanilla. That smells so good. Hence why it's empty. It's a nighttime scent for me. She is not buying another bottle of this. What is the point? Let me get the full bottle. Oriental one. I'm keeping this. It's dark. Most of the times when scents are dark, they are nighttime or winter fragrances. Remember that, okay? That smells awesome. Okay, so I've never smelled Mon Paris. Actually got it for my birthday and haven't done my birthday haul. So this is a good one to test. Woody one. Man, am I trying to eat it or what? Ooh, that smells good. This would be a daytime scent for me. So here's the... Come on, Paris. I got a big bottle. Somebody love me. This is a birthday gift. It was a gift set. Spray it up a little bit. Whoa! Hold up. Hold up. Now, this got to be the same thing. This got to be like the extra perfume they seen. 
They must send an extra perfume over to Dossier. It's smack on. I'm not sure Mon Paris is gonna be one of my favorites, but it smells good. Like I said, this is my first time trying it. Oh. All right, guys, I will make sure I leave the link to Dossier below. Make sure you take advantage. These are awesome scents, sleek bottle, very good for the price and will save you a lot of money. Don't forget to click the link for this Sunday. Sugar and I have traded places today. I usually pull and she pack, but I'm not feeling my greatest, so she's gonna do the pull, so I'll pass out. We're making it happen, guys. And you got more? I'm somebody in your stack. Getting it done. What you doing behind me? And uh <laughs> Hey guys, so it's Monday. I really, really needed to work yesterday. I really, really needed to. It's like I can't get on track. But 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 um after packing those few orders and seeing how i just was not feeling my greatest i decided to just lay down and rest all day until it was time to go get nicole last night and here's my issue y'all i am stressed the hell out about what's going on in my city it's literally a shooting a killing every hour in oak cliff ever since Boosie got shot up with Big T and Mo 3 Die. It has been horrible. Like, I don't even want to come out the house horrible. And it's it's really taking a toll on me because when you're in the streets or from the streets, you know that like anybody is a target. If they want you, they're going after your parents, your kids, your and it's just a lot going on here, guys. But like I said in my last vlog, I don't get in all that especially not on youtube on a big platform my opinion and all that yeah i just pray it's been heavy 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 on my heart like what is going on in my city it's scary so yeah so guys i have to take my ring to get repaired one of my diamonds fell out and i called them like this ring brand new yeah i need to handle this warranty or not I don't know if it's a warranty on it, but they was like, just bring it in anyway. Oh, she is. <laughs> ASAP. So I'm picking up baby. Mm -hmm. So you said it'll be back Friday? Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just saying it depends on the diamonds. I mean, now it's in, now it's in, oh. we don't do, do that, but since it was just recently, I, I will replace it for free for you. Thank you. Bye bye. So, yeah, they kept my ring. I think I was recording. They said it would be ready Friday because, sus. Sus. Name a ring. All right, guys. So, this is my small business hack of the week. I don't know if I tell, I think I told you guys before, but I wanted to show you. I ordered boxes. I will put the link below. They was put them directly on your doorstep. Now, actually, I ordered boxes and envelopes, but I guess they were out of these. So these just came today. These are my favorite boxes too, the priority boxes. Please do not get the flat rate boxes unless you ship flat rate. But just get the plain priority boxes. They're free. And you don't even have to go to the post office and get them. Um, each box style, they will let you get 25 at a time. So I get a lot of different styles. So I get big ones, small ones, envelopes, and then just order them like every four or five days. So they'll keep coming. I think if I'm feeling okay. I will go up to the warehouse today to show you guys what I mean by the other sizes that they already sent.
All right, guys, so I am bringing in the non-latex vest for Black Friday. Uh, Black Friday, instead of doing sales, because honestly, um, I can't do sales right now because the, the sales are going so good that um, I'm just going to bring in products that you normally can't get. Usually you have sales to, you know, like catch up and make money, but I can barely keep stuff in stock. I might put like the standard leggings or something on sale. Let me know what you guys want me to do. Well, I probably can answer that myself, but let me show you the vest. So it is a non-latex vest. You guys have been asking me to bring a vest in that isn't latex. It's not going to be a, as a, how can I put it? The hold is not going to be as tight as the latex vest. It's just not going to happen because of the material. But you guys got it, a full vest to hold your fat back in, your fupa, all that in one. Um, there are three rings here. This one is a 2X. I tried the 2X on and it's way too big for me. It wasn't sucking anything in. So I'm about to try a 1X and a large so that I can tell you guys what size you need to get. So yeah, that's what it is. Only thing I don't like about this vest is I typically like my straps thick. But if I have on a bra, I will put this strap over my bra. So yeah, that's the best. Guys, I got a box from Pop Beauty. I haven't got anything from them in a long time. Uncomplicated. Oh, right here, skincare. They sent two bottles of this Pop Beauty Lid AF Essence Skin Perfecting. Well, what is it? Is it a cleanser? It just say skin perfecting. Let's see what it say right here on the back. Replenish, energize, hydrate, rejuvenate. Still, is it a moisturizer or soap? Uh, what are we doing here? Maybe I should do my research and come back. They sent two of them though. So give me energizing, hydrating, rejuvenating. And over here say the ingredients. Yeah, I have to do my research. I'll be back, guys. Suge was trying to prevent me from getting attacked today. What happened, Suge? So they see the car because the car is very noticeable. <laughs> so they followed me to the car, but then they they not bold enough to actually come to the car and speak. So when I open the door, they walking off. I'm like, uh, okay. What was I saying? They was like, well, your mama fried. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think she get it from? talking about here's one size well this is the same size i got at home i didn't even bring that stuff up here because i ain't feeling it today and here's another size it's more it's made more like this brown box right here and then here are all the envelopes and the other boxes that i've already got from them for free all you do is go online like you're shopping put them in your cart and they send them directly to your doorstep three gripper should bag it we're doing both sites <laughs> My baby be working, period. <laughs> so let me tell y'all how God works. So last week, because I know I'm aggressive. So a lot of time you guys will see me throwing stuff and slanging stuff. Like I look back at my vlog and I was like throwing the soap and stuff in it. Um, mm, It's not funny. Like someone sent me some oil in this field and everything and the post office called me and I was like very rough with it. But I'm like a rough person. From Buff City Soaps and this is completely empty. <laughs> Shower oil. Ugh. This is a lotion bar. This is a scrub. This is soap. And it's not wrapped. Even when I did makeup, I would have to like, chill, bro. Don't beat these people face for real. I'm just like a rough, aggressive person. But to me and anybody who know me, like I am such a sweetheart. <laughs> okay, so moral of that story was I left a whole clip out of last week's vlog because I didn't want to make somebody look bad or make it feel like I was mad at them. 
but i am going to add that clip after this story so you guys can understand why i'm telling y'all this story so it's these little jumpers out warm-ups they're like the pants and the zip-up jacket and they have like it's not ruching it's like dense in it i can't explain it you'll see it and i have been wanting them so bad and i'm like who's selling them who's selling them so my friend has a, a well she's not a friend she's an associate she has a spot and she put something on her facebook page and was like clearance rate twenty dollars and it had those on there in like a whole bunch of different colors. So I was like, oh my gosh, can I cash up you? You hold them at the bag, blah, blah, blah. She wasn't really answering. So she inboxed me and she was like, "Which, what size or something? I don't even remember how the conversation went. So I said, well, I'm leaving a nail shop. I'm on my way. Make a long story short, I got there and they were all gone. So they kind of, it didn't piss me off, but I was like, damn, why did you have me drive all the way here? From oh, I was like in North Dallas getting my nails done, and she's in Duncanville. If you're in Dallas, you know that's a far drive. I could have just went home. So it kind of upset me, but I understand you got to make your paper. So guys, now I'm going into one of my friend's businesses to get some jumpsuits she got on sale. I have been looking for these everywhere, and she posted them today, and they're on sale. So sweetie, sweetie, I'm going. And I will put them in my black owned business hall and tag her because she does have a website as well. So let me get my ass out. Let's go. I'm just gonna woosa and go on to the hardware store and get some paint to paint my wall. I'm going up to the um, warehouse first because I drove way over here and they all gone. I even asked, could I cash out and should this lady sit them at the back or whatever, however. I asked all that and she said, just go and come on. And I get here and they're gone. <laughs> Ooh. Which is not a problem, make your coins, sis, but why would you have me drive away? I was all the way in the north and had to drive all the way to Duncanville. <laughs> I digress. And you know, I understand in business, a lot of people do a lot of flaking. That's why I said I would cash up you, like hold my stuff, but I'll pay you now. I understand a lot of people do a lot of high side and shit, so sis had to get them sales. So I didn't take it personal, but it did kind of like rattle me a little bit because I'm like, damn, you should just come in and be like, somebody got them. Um, don't waste your time driving over here. I digress. My other friend, Treasured Jewels, I've showed you guys stuff from her, shades, outfits, everything. She got them in stock today. And so she also sells sunglasses. So I hit her. I was like, hey, you know, I got a vendor local. Boom. Here's the info. She went today and she was like a kid in a candy store because my vendor is cheaper than her, hers and everything. So the lady said, I said, do you know where I can get these jumpsuits? And I sent her a picture. She had them in five colors. One of them I couldn't fit. So she go give me all four of them because I shared my knowledge with her. And it's the same four that I wanted last week. So I end up getting them. I still pay for two. I don't care what nobody say. People still got businesses. You still got bills. So she's going to give me two. And I've cashed up her for two. But just, you see how that blessing came right on back to me? Like I left last week. I was ready to cry. Like I really wanted those. Like I don't know why I want them so bad. They just look so comfy. Just throw them on. Put some tennis shoes on and go about your day. And I got there and they were sold out. And today, I got them. I would have got all four of them for free, but I won't let nobody do that. So, I will be in. She stay in my area, so I will go and get them from her in the morning. Why are you worried about it? God, I already got it figured out. <laughs> Not for real. Because I was like, my feelings was hurt. Like... I really wanted those and they was on sale. I was going to swipe every color in my size and got there and boom, the whole rack was clean. I was like, great. I still got them. Thanks, Treasure Jewels. All right, guys. So I'm at the VA. I'm taking my dad to his appointment. I can't go in because I think I have been saying in this vlog since Sunday, I don't feel good. Um, so, um, since 
Saturday night, like late Saturday night, I was trying to turn over and my head just felt so heavy. Like bricks was in it. I tried to get up and et cetera and felt real dizzy. And so I had been trying to take it easy because like at this point, it's really wearing me out that I never, ever, ever feel good anymore. So that wears on my anxiety and like I go, I go, I go because what happens is everybody say rest, rest, rest. Okay, I sit still, I still don't feel good. So I feel like what am I sitting still for? I might as well get stuff done. You know, actually I feel a little better when I move around. <clears throat> so I have been having these dizzy spells since Saturday night. I've been telling everybody I'm scared to drive, but I still got to go get baby girl from school. Nicole still had me come get her from the airport Sunday night. I'm still taking my daddy to the hospital. And y'all, I'm trying to come down, but the sad part in all it is if I blank out of something, then what's going to happen? Like, the veterans even got places, I mean, vans and stuff that'll come get my daddy. I've been telling my daddy since Sunday I don't feel good. So it's just like, if I just say, fucking and just start doing stuff for me and my daughter, I'm going to be the bad guy because at this point, I really feel like nobody cares. Like, how the fuck can somebody tell you they constantly dizzy every day? And y'all don't care as long as I'm coming to get y'all from the airport, taking y'all to y'all doctor's appointment. And I'm just crying because I realize that, like, I do so much. And sometimes all I need is a helping hand. And I know a lot of you guys offer to help and stuff, but that's scary. I really don't know who watching me, so I really don't know who this is offering to help. So I can't just have nobody in my home and stuff like that, but... Um, I'm just like sitting here waiting. I can't find a parking spot, so I just park the truck. If somebody tell me to move, I just have to move. But I am gonna go get a um, I'm gonna go test today. I'm gonna try my best to go test today to make sure this ain't corona because I have been all up in a nail shop and stuff. <laughs> and I have good and all that. Y'all know I stay stick with heartburn and all that shit, but I have never been constantly dizzy like this. It's like when I stand up or when I first get up, the whole room and stuff just be moving and it's scary as fuck. So, I went out through all the steps, blood pressure, all that. I don't know what the issue is and I'm scared to go to a hospital because our cases are out of control. So if I don't have Corona, I'm potentially exposing myself it's just a scary time right now, y'all, but um, I'm going to just, as soon as I make it back to the house, probably I'm going to have to go get baby girl. So the whole time I'm driving, I just constantly be praying. Guys, so it's hours later. I'm back at the house. Um, My friend brought me these outfits I was talking about yesterday. I can't do my testing till in the morning, so my appointment is at 8.45, and y'all coming with me. These are the outfits I was talking about. I got burgundy, black, orange, and pink. I want to have this. Okay. To my baby collection. It's, it's going to be lit. My baby got a collection. You need a good perfume collection. <laughs> have you smelled all of them? Mm-hmm. I put favorites. the camera on you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't tell us. I was going to say you can do it live in a video. Aww. <laughs> Some mini ones. Okay. Don't play with that girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't play Got a Tylenol right there. <laughs> yeah. Look at this damn line. <laughs> Look at this line.
is out here. Hi, is that the line for appointments in the street? Huh? If you have an appointment, that's the line in the street? Yeah, for COVID testing. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have to get in line. Oh, my gosh. Okay, thank you. Shit, are they the only people doing it? Yes, girl. I'm gonna be here till it's time for me to go get shoes from school. I know you fucking lying. What was the point of making an appointment, bitch? I should just pull it up like clearly all these people doing. Yeah, I'm not trying to be funny, but this is exactly why I push entrepreneurship and etc. on my daughter so much because when situations like this happen. I am always at the fucking doctor by myself. Always. How long have y'all been watching me? How long? I don't went through breast cancer scares. I don't went through endometrial cancer scares, GERD, PCOS, fibroids, and all that. And every freaking time I'm at the doctor by myself. Now, I have no choice. But every single time because... Nicole can't just take off like that. Maybe she could if she was at a job where she's established a lot of history at, but Nicole floats a little bit, so she don't be having a daze and stuff like that. And she just took off when I took her to um, Nashville and stuff for my birthday to see her mom and dad. So she can't take off right now. So I'm literally sitting this long ass line by myself. And this, th this roused my anxiety up because like every single time I go to the doctor and I'm by myself, my whole thought process is negative, which I need to work on it. But I'm like, what if they tell me something? What if they tell me something and I'm here alone? You get what I'm saying? Like, being that I'm my own boss anytime, anytime. I took off a whole week to take her home. My aunt and was at home shipping my country me by Nikki orders and everything. I took off. When she got COVID testing a few months ago because she wasn't feeling good. I vlogged that. I'm right there. And it's just like, I'm over here, nerves bad, foot shaking. In this long ass line, that don't make it any better because if I could just get in line, take the test, get my results in 15 minutes and leave, boom, I'll be fine. But now this done added about probably two hours on this because I still haven't moved. All right, guys, so I'm still waiting in this line. I'm gonna put a timestamp so you guys know like the transition or how long it was taking. I just saw a nurse walk up the street, but I don't know what she doing. I'm getting very irritable. Imagine not feeling good already. <laughs> Your anxiety bad already because you gotta take this fucking test and then you gotta sit and wait in line for hours. And I know y'all are like planning to just be complaining, but Lord, how am I supposed to make good out of this? Let me let me turn it into a positive. Well, at least I'm able to drive myself here, I guess. Some people will be so sick they can't. But yeah, I'm going to time stamp it so y'all know. I'm sitting up here watching vlogs. I desperately need to record. The companies <coughs> are wearing me thin. Of course, because the holidays are coming. And they want their products pushed, but there is no way I can record. I barely can breathe. I'm so dizzy. Like, if I make a sudden move like that, my head spins. So, it's really dangerous for me to be driving. Yeah, the crazy part about this whole situation, if this, if this shit stay positive, I ain't never going to get my nails done again. And the fact that I had to go two days in a row because the lady messed my nails up so bad. Because where else have I? Well, I've been a lot of places. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of did get out a little bit more than normal. I went and got my nails done. I went wholesale shopping. I did go to a um, boo bash. They did have me a surprise party. So I've been around people. Hi, Hi how are you, ma'am? Hi, how are have you? Have you registered? Yeah, I have an appointment. I don't know if that... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's The appointment is just basically to keep you on the line because we do stop taking walk-ins. So there's going to get to a point that we're not going to take any more patients, but you're still going to stay in line. Okay. So the line is going to get shorter in a few minutes. Okay. Okay? Do you mind? Ooh, I can finally see this place, y'all. 
glory to God. Because, baby, I thought I was going to be late getting my baby girl from school. Don't skip me, baby. I'm next. Come on, sugar. Bye. Hi. Can I see your ID and insurance? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just had it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Hello. Can I see your finger, please? Yes. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Good, good, good. You could just relax. Can I get a good phone number to contact you? 469. You don't happen to have one of your uh, fingers without the nails? Or they, they mm -hmm. all have the. Nails they all have them. Hold oh, on. It's okay. It's not picking up? Yeah, it might not pick up. I'm going to try again. Let's see if it does. Any allergies to medications or foods? Mango and green tea. All right, guys. Now you can finally see the building. So I have to do a little swoop and dupe up in this building, I guess. And that's what I do the testing under that shed right there. You know. Let's go, man. I'm ready to go. Hope they doing map, cause baby, they gotta weed through these long ass nose hairs, <laughs> which I still haven't got trimmed because I'm scared of COVID and look where I'm at anyway. All right, how many of you guys know when you take your little visor down, you can extend it like that? Did y'all know that? <laughs> Hope you learned something new today on Waiting with Platt. Yeah, I have been trying to record. I don't know my camera tired too, shit. I clicked the button, it cut off. Click the button, it cut off. But I'm finally almost under the tent. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down, y'all. But that kind of shit heightens my anxiety. Like, have a swiper at the car and swipe me. I got way too much to lose to be letting y'all play around my credit card. And I'm out here and can't see what y'all doing. Call me dramatic or whatever. People be stealing, bro. Uh, it's two cars ahead of me, so, oh, I thought this was her coming back, but it's not. Yeah, there are two cars ahead of me. Look like they only got one doctor or nurse or whatever um, doing this. I don't know if doctors have to do I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm probably irritating y'all at this point because the suspense is killing me like it's killing y'all. Like, the fuck? And I got, like, literally got, like, 30 minutes before I have to go get baby girl. I'm stupid hungry. Still gotta pee. And my cousins was just like, do you have a pad or a cup in your car? I'm like, first of all, I ain't had a period of months. So I'm not just gonna be carrying around pads. I might. No, I don't. Sis don't even bleed. So sometimes I keep them in my glove compartment. I mean, I don't even know why I'm looking. Who you think finna pee right here? Not me. So I'm gonna do the scrub test and the COVID test, okay? Okay. One goes in your throat and the other one goes in your nose, okay? Okay. That's my money too? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Which is first? And COVID. Nose. I'm sorry, don't move. And then the other. Perfect. And then the in the throat, okay? What's the throat testing? For strep. Okay. Because you're having sore throat. Okay. Then you move. Mm, mm, perfect. Uh-huh. And then the other one. Thank you. So they gave me a discount. It still was $129. I'm gonna put some lotion on my nose. It's dry. I hate to put this bath and body work on there, but it is what it is. So since um, I have Tulsa problems because of my GERD, they're doing a strep test too. So I think, well, you heard her. Do whatever y'all need to do for $129, baby. Give me out the coin, put me on the concrete. Wanna do a pap smear? Shit, I ain't no shake. What do you wanna do here? On the real, I need some tissue though. Like, I don't have any Kleenex. I feel like it's something on that Q-tip. Cause it started burning when it got to, like, you can't just tell me putting a Q-tip up your nose burn like that. 
Like, and my nose still burning. We are gonna take it like a Gito, y'all. <laughs> this is me, y'all. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Darden. Uh, I'm Yvonne, I'm the provider, okay? Okay. Flu uh, COVID and strep negative. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, another test to the lab for the Another test to the lab for the COVID. It will be the PCR test. Okay. Results in three to five days. Okay. okay. Thank you. Your nose. Uh -huh. So take the meds as you're supposed to. Okay. okay. With the girls, try to avoid spicy stuff, acidy stuff. Okay. She just made me some low sodium shrimp and grits. My girl, my girl. I got packages too. Y'all can't even take my shape bar and stuff right now. So I'm laying in the bed eating and my gynecologist just called. How many vlogs ago was that I said I had an abnormal pap and I was worried? She said that I was just inflamed. She said they've already ran all the tests and don't need to see me back in. But she said instead of doing a pap, well, now they do every three years. Um, Instead of coming back next year, come back in six months just to make sure. But I had a feeling that was going to happen, y'all. Let me tell you why. If we can go back to that vlog. I didn't even know why I was at the doctor. They just made an appointment for me, right? So the night before, I had freshly shaved and everything. And every time I shave, it irritates me. Now, I don't know what that's about. I mean, I don't shave out there. So I was already irritated, okay, from shaving. And so I'm hoping that's what the pap smear picked up on. But she was like, I was just inflamed. <sighs> But she do want to see me in six months. So that's something lifted off of me because I'm just like, girl, I know that I be real patient because this pandemic slowing these doctors and stuff down. But that shit's scary. So this would eliminate me having to put the small, medium, and large stickers on there. So that cuts out a fee, a business expense. That's our small business hack of the week if I haven't done it. I don't know what I've done this week. Nothing really. So I don't think I have. Come back to expenses, so I don't have to buy the small, medium, and large stickers anymore, which wasn't a lot of money, but that's something that can go into something else if I print it all on the hang tags because my hang tags used to just have my logo on them and I would put a sticker. And I also added the product name to help when people are helping me pack orders. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is how I look now. Just X out the size. It's the old one. I don't want to hit this. I don't want to hit this. We're not this. even that close to Oh, uh, I'm over here. Trust me, we close. Turn, girl. Okay. Keep going. Oh, I'm trying to get it over there. Well, you don't. But you don't have to turn it a whole lot. It'll go. All right, we stop. Make sure ain't nobody coming. This is a this is an entrance, so make sure ain't nobody coming. All right, go. Who is that? Uh oh. <laughs> just just stay Why still. They going so fast. Because they can drive. Can I go that fast? No, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Go up to the line up there, and then you are gonna make a left turn. Go. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Go. Blinker. <laughs> you done, Goofy? Okay, okay, come on, come on. Go. You spaces. What? These spaces? Yeah. Alright, now. Just make sure you in one. <laughs> uh, okay. Got my ring back. It was re it's ready all the time. Hold up. Nicole, this isn't my ring. Yeah, there's your ring. I want to tell you about it. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Elita's not. It's the one you're going to wear. Elita's not. Come put down my finger. Oh. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Should have got it clean. They didn't clean it. You clean to me. It wasn't even focus. Time to switch them glasses out. You guys watched last week's vlog. They was just sliding off my face. 
So my red ones gotta go. My Sally Jesse Raphael's. That's the ones you like. <laughs> For real. No. <laughs> you think you're okay. so funny. <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna just go and slide them back in there. This is getting too big. And so I decided to go with these. They're from Z Lil. Mama's getting a pimple. They're a pink frame. Baby, my eyes won't dilate though. Hold up. So I hate about putting on new glasses. Same prescription, but girl, what made me get these? <laughs> uh, these are literally my favorites right here. These big frames. Oops. Dang, I'm going to break them. All these came from Z-Lore. But um, they sit too heavy on my nose and be making me feel like I can't breathe. Um, Yeah, which is not a good thing right now <laughs> with the virus anything you can't breathe you think you got corona is that rona these are one of my favorites too but i think i scratched the lens on them pretty bad so whatever so um yeah yeah i don't want to talk about glasses so bye Thank you.